Hello, 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 and welcome back. Welcome back. We are going to work on the village. Something we have been doing for a little while now. Mr. Sheep, that's not a safe place for you to stand. Really, it's not. How about you go down the stairs or take fall damage? That's up to you. One thing we're going to do today, we're going to go ahead and use granite for the pathways, for the village pathways. I really like the red brick, like to have the old uh, red brick roads, you know, but we'd have to do a lot of clay gathering for that. And that's really not a big deal. We could do that, but I'd rather use that red brick for something else. We may use it for a house here, so I don't want to use it for a house and have it as the road material as well. So we're going to go with the granite because it's a similar uh, color scheme. Now, what we're going to end up doing is this house is going to come down and we're going to rebuild on top of the basement, which is going to bring this down on a more uh, even level with the other part of the village. So we're not going to do it quite yet, but that is one thing we're going to be doing soon. Before we do that, I want to build up uh, the gardens and stuff. And so anyway, we're going to make this road on the premise that it's going to sit, that the house is going to sit at this level. So we want the road to be at this level. So we're going to fill in the dirt below it. Puppies, puppies, puppies. Okay, so maybe we're not going to use dirt to fill everything in. Let's go, I think we have a ton of gravel. Let's go get that gravel. Yeah, we have quite a bit of gravel. We will use that instead. getting dark. Okay. Fine. I really wish that Minecraft had other building options for the granite block. And the andesite and the diorite. Okay, I said we're going to want the road. We actually want the road right here. Yeah. So let's do another. That means I have to bring this up again, though. Well, we'll do the road to this level till about right here. And then we'll bring it down to this level. But I wish we could make stairs and slabs and things out of the, what I call the ites, andesite, diorite, granite. I wish they would let us do that. Next. 
silly. Okay, puppies, come over here. Here they are, okay. And then we'll have this come up a level. No, I really don't want that to come up a level, do we? No, we don't. We'll keep it the same level. Is going to need to come up? No. We can make that and then put the stairs. Okay. Alright, let's do this so I don't get myself confused by getting too far ahead. A lot of people do like to use the granite. Oh, I got you guys. Don't make me sit you down. A lot of people do like to use the gravel for the pathways in the village. And of course, that's what uh, the default spawn is, too. And I'm supposing that they're going for the crushed rock look, you know, like it's pebbles. But for some reason, I just don't like it. I just don't. It's not my taste. But then some people don't like the granite. They think it looks too pink. But I like it because to me that's as close as you're going to get to the red brick without using red brick. And the guys that I game with are always polishing it. They like it polished. This is how you get polished granite. And of course you can get polished diorite and andesite the same way. And it does have a smoother texture. And it looks nice. But I prefer the raw look for it. Alright, we're going to bring this down. Yeah, that works. Are we out of granite? No, we're not. We're almost out, though. I'm going to have to do some more mining. He's going to be in the way, and I can't hit him to nudge him out of the way or the dogs will kill him.
Did I get underneath that? Yes, I did. Really, are you gonna just stay there in the way? Is that what you're gonna do? Pups, love having the pups, love having the pups. But sometimes they can get on my nerves. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some more mining, get some more gravel or granite. But at least more of the houses are accessible now. Okay, so we'll have to work on this again. Or I'll finish this up off camera. It's fine. You guys saw how I did it. It's not difficult. It's an easy concept. Now, I need to figure out how I want to do these gardens. Because, and I could have sworn when we got here that some of these gardens had carrots and potatoes in them. Because I was really excited. And I thought that was this village. It could have been a different village, but I could have sworn it was this one. And it just dawned on me right before I started recording this that we were that we harvested everything and we only got wheat and we replaced everything with wheat. And I have gone back and checked and every one of these gardens are wheat. So either I was mistaken and it was all wheat to start with, or something has happened to make them change it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put, we're going to put a garden over here. It's going to be in this area. That way, we can take that one out and it won't mess up any kind of a balance. What I need to do is figure out what I want. I, I don't want to do the wood. I don't like, I think that just, I don't know. I don't want to do the wood trim for it. Is the sun going down? It's trying to. Oh, we have time to put this stuff up. We have time to put this stuff up. Cobblestone and dirt. Okay. What do we have in here? Oh, and I put some glass in here to smelt. And I'm going to take that. I'll just leave the rest of that in there. What do we want to use? What do we want to use? I think we're going to go with the stone brick and the chiseled stone. I like that combination. I don't plan on using it for any of the house builds. So I think that's what we're going to do. So let's see what we have already. Yeah, let's just make a fresh set. Okay. All right, let's make some stairs. slabs and let's make some chiseled okay that gives us stone bricks slab we don't need the slabs except for the chiseled 
and stairs. All right, let's go see how that'll look. I think it'll look good. Uh, yeah, let's go sleep. And I did tear down their well, by the way. I don't know if you guys noticed that or not. All right, we are going to have... Oh, spiders have been in here. Okay. We're going to have... How big do they usually do these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, I like ten. But we could do eight. Alright, puppies. You guys are going to have to come sit this out. Come on. <laughs> Tail's just a wagon. I love that. Okay. All right, we're going to take this out. Leave that there. And you're in the way. Excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me, pardon me. All right, we want eight. Really? Okay. <laughs> Can you guys go patrol somewhere else? Really? You're going to stand here and talk to me? Don't you have work to do? Look, a spider. Go get it. Fetch. Okay, go that way. I don't care. All right. So we're going to want walk area here. And then we're going to want our... Put our stair here. That's probably going to get cut back. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. going to do this a little different also because they um all right we'll let you stay there the game does a default of the two rows for crops then the uh, water in the center and then two more rows for crops and we're going to do it a little bit different. So, we want we want crop, water, crop, water, crop, water, crop, water, crop, water, crop. Water, crop see how many that gives us. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a pretty good number. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Water, crop. I'm not going to have enough dirt. Excuse me, yeah. Erga. Well, we could just get some of this.
that gives us plenty of dirt right here. Okay. Now let's finish what we were doing. All right, now we're going to want pathways. Um, actually, let's on the other end. Okay, that way we can put a path here. And let's bring this out. All right, now, our slabs, uh, we'll add the slabs here in a little bit. We need some jack o Yes, we do, yes, we do, yes, we do, yes, we do. Yes, we do. Er, got, go right off the steps. I wish I could say that's the first time I've done that, but I could say it. It would be a lie. What am I looking for? Jack o' lanterns. So let's take. Uh, we'll just take all of them. And let's put our sword up. I need more torches. Okay. Oh, I put that too close. Tutti frutti. I have to move that out. Oh. Okay. So that's water 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 and path okay water 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 and water okay Move this again. I'm gonna put it too close. All right. So 
if I can get it right this time. Oh shoot, it's getting dark. You don't have to go in, but I really don't want to sit out here and fight mobs all night. Alright, I'm going to run in the house and go to sleep. Okay, now we are going to use the chiseled right here, here, again we're just using a touch of it to add some detail, we're not wanting to go crazy with it. We're just going to dress it up a smidge, a smidge. All right, now for our pathways, we're going to run some slabs. Along there. Move your booty. Okay. So now we have the crops. And we have pathways there. Now we want water. We need some water. And this is going to get tedious right here. Until we can get... Now that one's full. Do we need it every other one? No, we do not. Water will irrigate up to four blocks away. But this is to make harvesting easier. This is to lessen the chances of walking on your crops. The villagers are still going to do it. The golems are still going to do it. Now, if this was my private farm, I would fence it. But the villagers won't use gates. Not to my knowledge. So, if we want them to keep this up, they need to be able to get to it. Alright, so we have water everywhere. We have lighting sunken under the water. So now it's just a matter of planting. And we're going to go ahead and make this one all wheat. Hello. We're fixing your village. Okay? I hope you don't mind. <laughs> 
You're gonna like it, trust me. Now get that get out of the way. I almost said something mean. Alright. Oh, we need a hoe. Hello. Have to till it, have to till it, have to till it. So we don't need the weeds. We need the hoe. And that's not going to be enough seeds. So let's grab this stack. That's going to be more than enough, but. Now see you guys are already standing on it. There's all kinds of room to walk. And you're already standing on it. And there are about a different million ways, a million different ways you can do these. So be creative, follow your taste, your style, do it however you want to do it. Get out of the garden! Do you not see I just planted that? Move! Get out of there! Move! That's another reason the dogs are sitting down. Is they would be bouncing in the water, trying not to drown, and they would be standing on top of the crops. And I really use the uh, buried jack o' lanterns a lot. If I had an excessive amount of glowstone, I would do it with that. But. Uh, that way you're still getting light without having a bunch of torches all over the place. Alright, now Stop that. Oh, okay, fine. Good thing I'm not doing this from way up high. Seem to be falling today. Oh my gosh, can you guys not find anywhere else to walk? 
there's like a whole village out there. And you have to be over here in the garden. I may put some uh, fence posts up so that the golems can't get in here. Because they're too wide. So... I may have to do that. Or they'll just have all this suffocated and it'll be pointless. Alright, so now we still have the water, but it's not going to get... Uh, our villagers are not going to be spending all day bobbing in it. Because it's covered up. Alright. So, what can we use... I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm a sinking, I'm a sinking. I'm thinking we're going to see what some iron bars will look like. Yes, I am, yes, I am. And we have some. I don't think that'll be enough. That'll be enough. <laughs> and then some. Alright, let's go try this. Let's go try this. We're not going to be able to stop everybody. But, maybe we can slow it down just a little bit. Oh, that means we have to lose that pathway. Mm. We're going to have to bring this out another one. I think we are. <laughs> we'll play with it and see. Yeah, are you watching me? This is me fencing you out. And we can't place the slab on top? Yes, we can. I was going to say, since when? So, yeah, we can fence this off. Oh, but we need our steps. I'm just making a mess here. I wish you guys could just holler at me and say, oh, oh, here's what you need to do. I like the idea of the iron bars and the slabs. That I like. But you know what? Maybe I'm not as far off as I thought I was.
maybe, maybe I'm not. I'm not. All right, so let's try. Okay, did we not slab this? That works. I think that works. Okay, so we need slabs. No, what? Uh, get out. You're going to end up getting trapped in here. Okay, we want to leave places for the villagers to enter. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use these as entrances. Okay. All right, that should keep the golems out. They can't fit through here.
Excuse me. Well, I'm not sure I'm crazy about that, but it's going to do for now till I think of something else. Alright, kiddos, it's time for bed. Gonna have to percolate on that one. Not sure, not sure, I'm not sure. Okay, guys, come here. The thing is, it's just too much gray. And, uh, don't you run? Five. Gotcha. It's really too much gray. Okay, see, now you get your booty off of there. Get down. You're going to get fenced in anyway, so you better go run free while you can. Let's take out the part covering up the water. That should help with the uh, appearance. Lessen the gray just a little bit. Give it a little bit more color with the water. A lot of times that's what this is about is first of all you have to build according to your own tastes it's your world that you're creating it's your imagination that you're developing it's your ideas that you're putting into some kind of a format so that it's visual visual but it needs to be your taste it needs to be your style not my style necessarily unless you happen to like it but also you need to consider your surroundings because normally I would not have all of this if this was my fence my gate or my garden I would have a fence on each end and this would be I mean a gate on each end and the rest would be fenced off to keep the rabbits out I wouldn't have all these gaps and I wouldn't have all the different entrances because we have the golems I have to have the entrances narrowed so only the NPCs can get in because these golems will come in here as you saw and just stand on this stuff which will smother it so I don't want the golems in here and if it wasn't for the fact that NPCs don't know how to use gates I could still use the gates, but because they don't, I need it open so they'll come in here and farm this. So, those are things to take into consideration. If it's your own personal, you may do it one way. If, you know, maybe you're in a village and there are no golems. So, maybe you don't need to do it with all this extra stuff. Maybe you could just keep it simple. It just depends on where you are, what you're working with, what you like. Okay, so. Yeah, haha, ha, you can't get in. Y'all just stand out there and look. And we have the light buried, so there's going to be plenty of light for this wheat. Okay. This is what I'm not so crazy about. This right here. And I don't know. Uh. 
See, I could use cobblestone walls and just when you use a single piece of it, it looks like a fence post. And I could use those and just set one here, one here, one here, and it would be enough to block the golems, but it wouldn't look as good because it's not smooth. It's that rough texture. So I think we're just gonna leave this alone and let that be that. Then we're going to come over here and we're going to dig out this other garden now that we have replaced it. Nobody should be getting upset. Actually, I don't need, well, yeah, I might as well. I'll just put it right back. It's dirt. And let's chop that out. We can use the oak. And that was an awful lot of work for a garden, but I had to stop and think and rethink and so that slowed us down. The next one we do, it won't be that big a deal. Because I'll have an idea what I'm doing then. And part of the thing is too, there are some things I do the same way almost every time. Simply because it's a design I have found that I like. It works for me. So I do use the same one a lot. But then there are other instances where I may be working on something and I'm like, okay, I want something different. I do not want to use blah 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 because I use it all the time I want something different so I will go out of my way to make it look nothing like <laughs> what I have done a hundred times before or at least with enough variety that it doesn't feel like another repetition did I get all of these yes I did so Why are you going into the garden? I'm over here. Let's sit here, you little purple butt. All right. All right, so we replaced the garden so we could take out a garden. And the next episode, we are going to build this house over there. So we can tear this down and rebuild it for us. So I am going to clean out the inventory and get organized and we will see you later.